This 70-year-old bomber just got a set of brand new engines. And now, it might outlast every plane flying today. The US Air Force just upgraded the legendary B-52 Stratofortress with modern Rolls-Royce engines. Engines so efficient, powerful, and high-tech, they could make this Cold War dinosaur fly until the year 2050, maybe even longer. So how does this old beast suddenly become the future of flight? What makes these new engines so special? Get ready to find out how a 1950s plane just embarrassed modern jets, and why the aviation industry will never be the same again. The B-52 Stratofortress first flew in 1952, when black and white TV was still a thing, and before jet travel even became common. Fast forward to 2025, and guess what? The B-52 is still flying. Not in a museum, not at an air show. It's actually still being used by the US military. And not just used, it's getting major upgrades to keep flying for decades more. Imagine flying the same plane design your grandfather once flew. That's what's happening right now. There are Air Force pilots today who are flying a jet that their grandparents flew during the Cold War. That's just mind-blowing. Most planes, whether commercial or military, usually retire after around 30 to 40 years. By then, their parts get outdated, repairs become too expensive, and newer tech takes over. But not the B-52. Instead of retiring it, the US government decided to give it a whole new life. And the secret to that comeback? Brand new engines. The B-52 is getting eight powerful new engines made by Rolls-Royce, called the F-130. But now, with these modern engines, the B-52 can fly way longer without needing constant repairs. It's expected to stay in service until at least 2050, maybe even longer. So think about it. A plane that started flying in the 1950s could still be flying in the 2050s. That's a 100-year lifespan. There is literally no other aircraft in the world that's been active that long. It's basically like giving a grandpa a brand new heart and telling him to run marathons again. And this isn't just some small upgrade. This engine replacement could totally change how people think about military planes. Let's be real, the old engines on the B-52 were ancient. They were called Pratt & Whitney TF-33 engines, and they were first made in the 1950s. That's literally the same time when Elvis Presley was just getting famous. These TF-33 engines had a lot of problems. First off, they were crazy inefficient. They burned a ton of fuel, like way more than modern engines. That meant the B-52 had to carry extra fuel just to complete its missions, which left less room for other important stuff like weapons or equipment. Second, they were really loud and caused a lot of pollution. In today's world where everyone is trying to go green and reduce carbon emissions, these engines were total dinosaurs. Third, they were super hard to maintain. Finding spare parts was a nightmare. The Air Force actually had to take parts from old, broken B-52s sitting in storage, just to keep the flying ones alive. That's like keeping your car running by stealing parts from junkyards. It worked, but just barely. So the US Air Force had a choice. Either retire the B-52 for good, or give it a serious upgrade. And that's when they decided to swap out the old TF-33s for something much better. The Rolls-Royce F-130 engines. These new engines are modern, and they're based on the same tech used in luxury Gulfstream jets. So, what makes the F-130 engines so awesome? First, they're 30% more fuel efficient. That means the B-52 can fly longer without needing to refuel, which is a huge deal for military missions. Second, they're quieter. That might not sound important, but it helps with stealth and reduces noise pollution. Third, they require way less maintenance. The Air Force won't need to keep scavenging parts from old planes. And finally, they give the B-52 a longer range and better performance overall. Basically, the F-130 engines fix everything that was wrong with the old TF-33s. All right, let's talk about the star of the show, the new F-130 engines. These are the Rolls-Royce F-130s, and they're not some random experimental engines. They actually come from a family of engines called the BR-700 series. And guess what? These engines are already being used in super fancy private jets like the Gulfstream G500 and G600. So what's so great about them? Okay, don't let the technical term scare you. High bypass ratio basically means the engine moves a lot more air around the core instead of through it. 
This makes the engine more efficient and also a lot quieter. So the B-52 gets a nice performance boost and doesn't sound like a monster roaring across the sky. This is actually pretty smart. The F-130 engine is made in a modular way, which means it's built in pieces that can be easily removed and replaced. So if one part breaks, you don't have to take the whole engine apart. You just swap out the broken piece. This makes maintenance way easier and cheaper. Imagine fixing a phone by just replacing the battery instead of buying a new one. That's what this is like. The old engines were kind of like those old cars where you had to do everything manually. But the F-130 comes with digital controls that help pilots manage the engine automatically. This means better performance in different flight conditions. Like if the weather suddenly changes, or if they need to adjust speed quickly. It gives pilots more control and flexibility in the sky. Let's not forget about the environment. These new engines produce less pollution, which is a big win in today's world. The military isn't usually known for being eco-friendly, but this upgrade actually helps reduce the carbon footprint of the Air Force. That's good news for everyone. So far, we've been talking about how the B-52 is getting a cool new upgrade with the F-130 engines. But here's the thing. This isn't just a big deal for one bomber. This could actually change how the entire world looks at military aircraft. Usually, when a country's old fighter jets or bombers get outdated, they have two options. Keep flying them and hope nothing breaks, spend billions of dollars designing and building a brand new aircraft from scratch. Both of these choices kinda suck. One is risky, the other is super expensive. But the B-52 engine upgrade shows a third option. Just give the old plane new parts and keep it flying strong. It's like putting a brand new engine in a classic car. You get modern performance without throwing the whole thing away. This is called a retrofit. And it's way cheaper and faster than building a whole new jet. So now other countries are starting to pay attention. Nations like Russia, China, and even India have lots of older military planes. These aircraft were super advanced when they were first built, but over time, their engines and systems became outdated. Instead of wasting billions on new planes, these countries might say, wait, why don't we do what the US did with the B-52? They could just upgrade the engines, maybe add some new tech inside, and boom, they've got a fully capable plane for way less money. This strategy could become a global trend in the military world. Like, why spend $200 million on a brand new jet when you can upgrade an old one for $20 million? Plus, the F-130 engine is showing that dual-use engines, engines made for both military and civilian use, can actually work great. That means, instead of making separate engines for warplanes and private jets, companies could just make one engine that can do both. We've been talking about the B-52, which is obviously a military bomber. But here's something most people don't realize. Its new engines are actually based on civilian jet technology. So now people are asking, if these engines work so well in a military plane, why not use them in commercial planes too? Think about it. If these engines turn out to be super reliable, like they don't break down every few months, easy to repair in service, and way cheaper to run than older engines, then commercial airlines, especially smaller or regional ones, are definitely going to pay attention. Right now, buying a brand new commercial airplane can cost tens of millions of dollars. But what if airlines could just upgrade their old planes instead of buying new ones? Like, imagine a small airline with 15 or 20-year-old jets. Normally, they'd start thinking about retiring those planes. But with new engines like the F-130 or similar ones, they could keep using those same planes for another 10 to 15 years. That's a huge money saver, especially for budget airlines or smaller companies that can't afford to spend millions every year. Okay, so upgrading the B-52 isn't just about making an old bomber fly better, it actually has huge consequences for the entire world. Politically, economically, and even in terms of power and influence. Normally, when a country wants to stay on top in terms of military strength and has to spend billions of dollars making brand new jets and bombers, that's crazy expensive and takes years to finish. But what the US is doing here is genius. Instead of building a new plane, they're taking an old, proven one, the B-52, and giving it a supercharged upgrade with modern engines. That means they're saving tons of money while still boosting their air power big time. It's like getting a brand new iPhone battery instead of buying a whole new phone. 
The new F-130 engines are being built by Rolls-Royce, but they're being made in Indianapolis, USA. That means thousands of jobs for American workers and a major boost to US manufacturing. It's not just about planes anymore, it's about creating an entire supply chain right in America. From engine parts to testing and logistics, this project is helping the economy in a real way. And let's be honest, anytime a country creates jobs and new tech at the same time, that's a power move. By making an old school Cold War bomber fly with 21st century technology, the US is basically saying, hey world, we know how to take the past and make it powerful again. That's a big message. Other countries might be trying to build fancy new aircraft from scratch, but America's showing it can modernize old legends and still compete at the top level. It's like bringing back a vintage car, but now it runs on electric and beats modern sports cars in a race. That kind of move gets attention. This upgrade also affects military diplomacy, how countries deal with each other when it comes to weapons, deals, and defense strategies. If this retrofit works really well, other countries might want to copy this model or buy tech from the US. That could lead to new partnerships, more arms deals, and even shift who teams up with who on global defense projects. The B-52 isn't the only old plane flying. All around the world, there are hundreds of aircraft that are kind of like grandpas in the sky. For example, Russia still uses a plane called the Tupolev Tu-95, which also came out during the Cold War. And in some countries, you'll still see older commercial jets like the Airbus A310 being used for flights. These planes are old, yeah, but they're not useless. They were built tough, and many of them can still do the job just fine if they get a little upgrade. That's where the whole idea of the B-52 retrofit comes in. If the US can take a 70-year-old bomber, give it modern engines, and turn it into a beast again, then why can't other countries do the same with their own planes? It's like giving your old PC a new processor or adding a better graphics card. The frame is the same, but the performance is way better. And here's the cool part. It's way cheaper than building a brand new jet from scratch. That's why a lot of countries, especially ones with smaller defense budgets, are probably watching the B-52 program very closely. If the retrofit turns out to be reliable, fuel efficient, and low maintenance, then we might start seeing other old planes get the same treatment. Planes like the C-130 Hercules, which is a military transport aircraft, could definitely benefit from this trend. A lot of air forces still use the C-130 because it's super dependable. Even in the cargo industry, companies could retrofit older planes instead of buying new ones. That would save them a ton of money and help them reduce emissions too. This whole idea is being called the renovation model for aviation. And honestly, it makes a lot of sense. Think about it. If you already have a strong working aircraft that just needs better engines and some upgrades, why throw it away? You just fix it up, make it fly like new, and avoid spending millions or even billions on a new fleet. It's smart, it's budget friendly, and it's better for the environment. And now, other countries are watching. Hard. Big nations like Russia, China, France, and India also have tons of older planes just sitting in storage or flying with outdated systems. Now that the US has pulled this off with the B-52, these countries might go, wait, we can do this too, maybe even better. This could kick off a kind of tech competition where countries and companies race to see who can come up with the best engine upgrades, the most efficient retrofits, or the coolest new tech add-ons for old planes. Imagine this, an old Russian bomber upgraded with AI-powered autopilot, or a Chinese aircraft fitted with a hybrid electric engine to make it quieter and cleaner. Sounds wild, but if the US can bring a 70-year-old plane back to life, anything's possible. And it's not just governments. Private companies will jump in too. Engine makers like Rolls-Royce, GE, and Pratt & Whitney will probably compete to get big international deals. They'll be trying to convince countries and airlines to buy their retrofit packages, which could mean huge money and lots of jobs. Even small aerospace startups might try to get in on the action, offering cheaper or smarter ways to upgrade engines, reduce fuel use, or add new tech like digital cockpit controls or self-diagnosing engine systems. If you think this is the future of aviation, 
Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and tell us in the comments what plane should be upgraded next. <laughs>